I'm Monica Wolf, and I'm a tech entrepreneur. I'm probably most well known for and proud of a business that I founded and ran called Startup Muster, and we did all the statistics about the Australian startup ecosystem. Money is so important. So by creating your own money, whether it's through working or through entrepreneurship, you can then spend that money however you like. So say you really want to buy something, you really want to go somewhere, or you want to donate it somewhere, like money is the currency that this world operates in. And when you have it for yourself, you get to decide how you want to you know, spend it and distribute it. So it really gives you freedom and power. I always understood the value of money. My parents were middle class, but it wasn't like we were rolling in it. Um, so getting a job early on was really important to me because I wanted that independence. And if you're thinking about starting your own company, that's great because you can approach that job as if you're learning how would you then build your business. You're essentially getting paid to learn. So what I'm really mindful of is like not putting yourself a stamp on yourself like I'm not a maths person or I'm not a science person because they're just such broad subjects and there's something there for everyone. You know, it's a spectrum and you're going to be somewhere on the spectrum, but you should at least be on the spectrum. Like, don't shut it off. It's really fun and there are so many opportunities for you later in life to do with those kinds of areas. So just like have a go and you'll figure out soon enough where your skill set lies. So at the end of year 10, my math teacher says to me, Monica, you're only good at statistics and we all know that's not real maths. And that has stuck with me for ages. I went on to work for the Australian Bureau of Statistics and then I did found a statistics company. And so yes, I, he was right, I was good at statistics and probably still am. But like at university, I ended up also doing calculus and a bunch of other math classes that yeah, that I struggled with. I was not phenomenal at them, but I, I wouldn't let what he said about my capabilities in year 10 stop me from taking subjects that I knew were going to be really, really valuable to my future. I think the thing I am most proud of is with Startup Muster, the first two years of that company, we did it a side hustle. It was very small and literally within six months I had brought in like over six figures of money into the company and within a year we were a nationally recognized brand within our community. And I put so much energy into that and you know I, I have people come up to me even this week and they're like oh I used those statistics in a recent presentation and it was really useful and really and um, like thank you so much. So it's when I hear those kinds of things it makes me really proud. Self-doubt, you feel it, you recognize it, and then you just keep going. And everyone feels it, it doesn't matter who you are in the world. And for me, I actually found that I kind of got addicted to being underestimated. So uh, with, especially with the Startup Muster business, I would be going into rooms and I'd be going into big meetings with a lot of people that didn't look like me. And most of the time, um, there was an expectation or an assumption that I was someone's EA or I was a junior that was there to pour the water. And then I take my seat at the table and I talk and I'm fearless and I get my point across. And there's that moment where people's faces just change. And it's that moment that I love so much. Um, so, you know, you just gotta do it anyway. Like, that's what life's about.